So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about another one of the newly upgraded players. Today we're going to be chatting about Manchester City's Gabriel Jesus. What do you guys make of this card? Do you think he deserved this upgrade? And do you think that 83 is a fair rating for this man? Once again, on the screen is the image that EA tweeted out, showing some of the Premier League players who have been upgraded, and if you want me to review any more of them, let me know which ones in the comments below, and if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And just as I'm recording this video, EA have actually dropped a bunch of Man of the Match cards, so if you want me to review any of them, put that in the comments too. So, over to the card comparison we go. On the left, we have the 81 variant, and on the right, the 83 newly upgraded version. And as you can see, the pace and dribbling have not been touched. They both remain at 87. The shooting's gone up by two, the defending's gone up by two, but his physical has been boosted pretty nicely by three. Not the largest of upgrades, but there is a few noticeable ones there, I suppose. So, how have them boosts affected his in-game stats? Well, his positioning and finishing have both gone up by two, the shot power's gone up by one, the long shots have gone up by one, and his penalties have also gone up by one. In the passing department, it's pretty much the same. The short passing's gone up by one, and the curve, the curve has gone up by one. That is about it for that section. Dribbling-wise, as you can imagine, it's pretty much identical. In fact, it is virtually identical. In the physical department, his stamina has gone up by three, his strength's gone up by two, and his jumping has also gone up by three. Getting into the in-game clips, let's chat about Gabriel Jesus in FIFA. Now, I love his original card. At the start of the game, it was one of the best strikers on Ultimate Team. And even now, up to this point, that 81 rated card remains to be one of the most overpowered striker cards that you can buy. I hate matching up against any of his cards in games because he's so clinical. Even though his long shot stat isn't that great, he scores long shots. He can literally score from anywhere. This guy in FIFA is absolutely rapid and he's fantastic with the ball at his feet. He's got such high agility, ball control and dribbling and that makes him an absolute joy to run at defences with. He's also perfect for skill moves. It's just a shame that he doesn't have 5 star skills. His shooting is pretty mad. The shooting ability in general is pretty crazy for an 81 overall and... He's just clinical. His 81 rated card's clinical. His 83 rated card's clinical. He is very good in front of goal. And the short passing for a non-informed striker is actually very impressive. Despite not having the best strength, he does battle pretty well. So, 83 Jesus versus 81. Is there much difference? In a nutshell, no, not really. Just like with a lot of these upgraded cards, the boosts are pretty small. I do feel like this 83 version is a bit better in front of goal than the 81. But other than that, there's not too many noticeable differences. Um, I would say this 83 version battles a bit more, and that'll be due to the slight improvement on the strength. But um, as a whole, not too much of a gap between the 81 and the 82. As a whole, I'd obviously rather have the 83 over the 81, but like I said previously, the difference between the two is pretty minimal, and if you're more of a casual player, you probably won't notice the difference between the two. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm being negative because this card is freaking awesome, but so is the 81 rated version. Both are incredible, and at the time of recording, this upgraded card costs 35k, his 81 rated costs 4k. So, you know, do not buy this upgraded version yet. Wait for his price to drop because it will. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this brand new 83 rated upgraded card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below if you've tried this card and if you noticed any difference at all between the 83 and the 81. But um, apart from that, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.